Here we have an 18 piece network bullet based on the High Silicon 3516C solution and a Sony sensor and a 4mm fixed lens in a standard bullet style housing with a free access bracket. Now we move on to the assembly parts and introduce them in no particular order. First is the IR LED array, second is the front cover, third is the bullet base and fourth we have a, a tray of screws. Fifth is the 38 by 38 PoE module. Number six is the main bullet case. Number seven is the cable assembly. N number eight is the module and lens and some miscellaneous parts for number nine and ten is a Y cable. So now we move on to the module IR LED array and the, and the fixing for the actual bullet. As you can see the module is a single layer board with a lens and IR car filter attached. The PoE board is a separate element and these are the, fi the fixing posts. Uh, the distance of the posts is obviously relative to the housing because the distance it needs to be so the IR LEDs is right against the front glass, the actual bullet. This is predetermined depending on the housing. And also the board set, with this being a single layer board, then the actual assembly is at a, a particular distance. The actual copper posts have a, uh, you can vary the actual height and distances that's needed. This being a fixed lens, so there's no very focal lens, uh, which would typically be longer. Uh, so the distance is actually with a fixed lens, but somewhat shorter. So it's closer to the front of the actual uh, LED, front glass of the actual bullet, once, once fully assembled. So the PoE interface is uh, assembled reasonable distance away from the actual module due to the PoE models having uh, heat. So they generate quite a lot of heat. So you tr keep, try and keep that away from the actual main uh, camera module. And also the, the, the components which generate heat you, you would face away from the actual uh, main PCB IP module. So it's a tensioned screwdriver there, uh, electronic, which lasts uh, a certain amount of time, because obviously when you use lots of screws, they will wear down. So this is the assembly of the actual PoE module go PoE interface it goes directly into the camera to provide power and obviously passing through the actual network connections as well. So we have the IR LED array, which is obviously suitable for this housing and lens set. Um, being a fixed lens, it's actually uh, quite a large size. So the LED array is limited by a the di diameter of the actual bullet, and of course the, the lens being used. Um, so it only has a single array, um, uh, tw 24 IRs in this case. The angle of the IR LEDs will be representative of the actual angle of the lens to provide and make sure you, you don't have hot spots. If you have too narrow focus, you obviously have overexposure. 
So this is now obviously the final inside assembly. The actual module into the housing. So you have a bit of play with the cable. And there's dissident that's used obviously for moisture. Uh, typically a temperature controlled area for especially cameras with LEDs needs to have uh, the, it, this part of the world the temperature the humidity is high so there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere so the dissident will actually take that out on the final assembly that would be before the final soak test uh, which will be in a burn-in room with the actual camera um, typically 24 hours you see here again the electric screwdriver with a a strange box which has all the screws in the correct way to assemble it saves time for obviously faster manufacturing so that's securing down the module inside the actual housing and now secure the IR LED board again this, all the screws are the same size it simplifies the actual installation process and also the actual screw sizes you need you, you keep to the maximize the same size the best you can So the first thing here is we're reverse feeding the cable into the bracket. And the cable goes into the bracket adjustment part. rubber seal which goes into the end of the bullet so the waterproof integrity of the unit is complete and so that this is the main bullet housing back part So it's just a simple hand with a final adjustment to tighten in via an adjustable spanner. Obviously try not to actually break the paintwork on the actual lock-in bolt. that will long term cause rust. Most bullets have an IP rating of around IP 65, 66, maybe 67 or even greater. So this is the master locking nut which can be loosened for uh, adjustment of the lens at a angle of the actual camera once it's installed. So the actual cable itself um, needs to be coated so it's waterproof as well as the actual bracket itself isn't it totally sealed. So you don't need or you shouldn't have water reverse going into the camera from the rear end. So as it was assembled, the, the actual nut is slightly tapered, so it will actually compress the seal. So this particular bracket is just a simple uh, three axis with a locking teeth, which is adjusted. It's obviously positioned to, uh, so the
screw at the top is actually for the sunshield component. So now you have to understand the complexity of the cable loom, um, which would obviously be the RJ45 Cat5 network connections. You have and separate power. This cable set doesn't utilize audio. Uh, typically, most bullets for external use won't used. So now that you can see that the, the cable from the supplies don't come with the connectors, so knowing the correct sequence of which cable is quite important for the connector. I'll get, try and get a close up of the connector here. You don't need to use glue when you have respectably good rubber sealing. This is the O-ring rubber seal. Goes inside a predetermined little groove. So again, the waterproof integrity is retained. And the final piece is the sun shield. Sun visor, simple screw attachment. So this is a new kind of or the latest style of RJ45 connection. Um, as a socket, it it's, has a compression, twist, turn, waterproof seal. So your network cable coming in um, doesn't need to be covered with waterproof tape. Okay, so here we are now with the camera uh, on the test rig, on a, running on a PC with Windows XP. Um, so here we, we have a test chart for the lens adjustment. This particular model is a fixed lens, not a very focal. So the lens has to be visually adjusted so it's perfectly in focus. And of course that's then locked into place. We have the rubber seal that goes onto the lens, and the last part is reattach the actual bullet front 
cover. Hand tighten adjustment, reasonable pressure, so it compresses the O-ring. And so now we go into a dark room. So we have a dark room test. You can see here we're, we're looking at the image. So the night vision's working, the LEDs are working, the timing for the day to night, and the, the, we can see the IR cart filter is successfully making the transition between the day and night mode of operations. That concludes the assembly of our IP bullet camera.